The time has finally come, guys. I know y'all have been waiting for this moment, and so have I. A lot of people regard this case here, singles case F, the best case of the year and pretty much the best case in the last two years. There are quite a few new releases in this case, and it's usually like double the amount of new releases we get in a typical case. So I'm super excited to get into it. Open it up. I'm actually going to tear it open just because I'm so excited. But yeah, guys, welcome back to another Disney docket presentation. Obviously got the unboxing of 2021 singles case F. Yes, the 95 A F. Super cool that 95 is on all these cases as if they planned that for the anniversary of cars, like the 15th anniversary. That's kind of cool. Obviously, that was just coincidental. But yeah, I get all my cases from Get Me Collectibles. If you want a case to unbox yourself, the email is what you need to do. You need to email him, inquire about it. He does sell some cases though via his eBay store, which is also pretty cool. And that link will be in the description as well. All right, guys, 24 pieces. Let's just dive right into it. Hope you guys have been enjoying the case unboxings lately. I got home from college two weeks ago. Yeah, two weeks ago, basically today, although today I'm recording this Tuesday night, it will click over to Wednesday in like an hour, I think. I think it's like 11 o'clock right now, as in 11 p.m. So yeah, almost two weeks, and I think I've been doing a pretty good job of making videos. I've done daily videos ever since I got home. Uh-oh, uh-oh, that was some really tough tape right there. And yeah, I've been really proud of myself, not to pat myself on the back or anything, but it's really difficult to manage that and my actual job at the country club where I caddy and work in the bag room. So it's a lot to balance. I also tutor a kid as well. So basically four things going at once, but I love it. You know, I love to be busy and look at that. We have a portal here into Narnia like or the portal into just basically paradise here. We're going to hop in. Although paradise is more down here, we have to muddle through some muck first to get there. And that muck includes, oh, look at this. Look at that. How adorable for Mother's Day. You have Mama Bernoulli on a nice crisp card. She has been included now in a couple cases. First being case D. This is her first time being released from Thailand this year. And there are some other Cars 2 releases. Gosh, I'm running out of room, guys. I need room. Where am I gonna put all these cars? I'm gonna donate some of these bad boys. All right, I think I made some sufficient room. So yeah, here is Francesco Brignoli, her son. His time first being released for 2021 was in case E, so now he is back on another good card, so that's nice to see. Very cool. And oh, sweet, I did not know that Lightning McQueen with Piston got carried over in the case F. He was obviously new, not really though, to case E. The Piston Cup itself is new, like we've never gotten one this exact color, but McQueen has been released with it, you know, four years ago in 2017 as a Toys R Us exclusive and Jackson Storm also was with a Piston Cup. So, I mean, it's technically new, technically not. There is a variant card where this logo is not present. So even Mattel is having doubts about it. Probably won't review it, although I don't know. I might review it. And if I do, it won't be for a while though because of the fact that I have these much cooler cars to get to first. Here is a typical Jackson Storm. Obviously nothing exciting. At least they're only including one of him in a lot of these cases because last year they did two and that was no fun whatsoever. This is also no fun. Rusty is Lightning McQueen. You really don't care about this guy. He's been in pretty much every case and he's peg warming. Although he's not peg warming as bad as some of the next gens like HJ and JD. Yikes. Sheesh. Those are just bad. And this is just gross to look at. He's not on Cars 2, guys. Come on. Come on, Mattel. Not on Cars 2. Oh, by the way, did you guys see I have the custom of Fast Fong out so he can witness the birth of his replacement in a couple minutes here? I'm excited. He's not, though. 
Trainer Cruz Ramirez with another appearance. She was introduced in the last case. Her first time being released for 2021 with this new artwork that they did not have last year when she was initially released. Kind of weird. It's like they decided to release her in 2020 and Pixar hadn't emailed them the artwork yet, but they're like, ah, we're just going to go through it anyway. We're just going to go with it and, you know, screw it. We'll just put the artwork on next year. I feel like they released her this year solely for the purpose to show off the artwork. They're like, hey, hey, we know, we know we messed up last year. And just to prove it to you guys, just to stick it to you guys, we're going to release her again. Because you guys complained that the artwork wasn't good. So just to prove it, we're going to release her again. I feel like that's what they did. Here's Flo. Now, I really do like this release of her. I love the, you know, just large artwork. I even picked up one at the store just because I was happy to see, you know, a Radiator Springs Townie on the mainline singles because they do not last long, like Lizzie as well, even more so than Flo. I haven't even seen a 2021 Sarge yet, so I was happy to see her. It's nice to get one in the case here. Oh, yikes. This is gross. Another one, really? Haven't seen him in a while. I know he wasn't in the last case or the case before, I don't believe, but here we go with another JD McPillar, the next gen toe cap. There was two of him in case C of 2021. That's just what inundated the pegs. And now he has been a wanted criminal for peg warming. Here's a new one to the case. This is new for 2021, Maddie McGear. Although definitely not her first release from Thailand and definitely not her first release at all. She's been around released pretty much every year, actually. Yeah, she's been released every year since 2017. Kind of a nice one, but also gets a little boring to see after so many releases. And the package has been updated from KC to show off Brian Spark, Kurt, and Maddie herself. Otherwise, these four were already included in previous cases. Brian Sparks like image just looks a little strange because it's on such a different angle than Jimmy and yet these are like the exact same model. It's weird. It's like this is the one they used for the launcher. So I think they angled him to be parallel with the launcher and they didn't make a new one that's a little bit better to match with that. That's kind of cool. I don't know. It's interesting to think about how Mattel works behind the scenes. And speak of the devil here is Brian Spark. Now what's funny is that this is a really anticipated re-release. Like People have been clamoring for him ever since the launcher got rare. And yeah, sure enough, the launcher did get rare. So people go nuts for this guy. But he's the one that sits around the pecs. Like I found probably three or four of him out of the like five stores I've went to. And yet no Todd Marcus. Like they're very comparable. Two stock cars in this case. One from Cars 3, one from Cars 1. Todd's gotten way more releases. He's not as rare. And yet he's the one that's always gone. Haven't even found one yet. It's just so strange to me. I love his artwork though. It was uh, originally shown on a poster long ago. And we'll do a quick comparison with his Chinese version here. Obviously the eyes are quite a bit different. He's got a new expression altogether. The mouth is open, which is pretty cool. Like if they're going to, you know, re-release him. Might as well change up the expression a little bit. I like that. That stripe on the bumper is now gray instead of black. So yeah, a couple changes. Nothing too significant though. Oh, I like that they put the mouth as a different one. So that's actually really nice. What do we got next? Oh, two Demolition Derby cars back to back. Pile up's a nice inclusion. I don't think he's been around. Yeah, he has not been included since KC, in which he kind of flew off the pegs because his Chinese release from 2017 became quite rare and he's very different looking, being, you know, now made in Thailand. So this guy will certainly fly off the pegs again. Taco, kind of the same case as well, but to a lesser extent because he also was in, I think it was E, could have been D as well. I'm not sure. He might have actually been in both of them. So he is starting to pile up 
the inclusions as well. But I never see him on the pack, so you know what? I don't mind it. Kind of an interesting card back here, considering these are both from Cars 3. I guess it's because Taco was initially in case B, whereas Tailgate was initially in case C, so that's why their card backs are so different. Yeah, I can't believe Hot Rod Smokey was released this year. Like That just seems like ages ago. I never found him. I think he was in case A, though. But yeah. Hmm, cool stuff. All right, where are we going to go next? Oh, another Brian's... Oh, this is why. Okay. That makes sense now. This is why he's always on the pegs. Because there's two of them in the case. Whereas it looks like there's only one Todd Marcus down there. Now that makes a little bit more sense. All right, here's the first amazing release of the case, and that is Racing Red Sally. Gosh, she looks gorgeous. So happy to get one of these finally. I actually ordered some on Amazon, but they canceled my order. I was bamboozled. I was disappointed. What's that line? It's like, my disappointment is immeasurable and my day is ruined, like something like that. They were four bucks. Amazon Prime. I was delighted, and yet, you know, a week and a half went by, and then they canceled them. <sighs> but it's okay. Got a mint card one now. She looks great. Love the artwork. And now the top three have been revealed. Just need Lightning McQueen, Francesco, and Dinoco Cruz to go. Nice. Yeah, I haven't found this one on the pegs either. It's quite a few from this case I have not seen, although I've encountered the case multiple times, but remnants plague me. I have found Kurt. Kurt I have found one time at Walmart. Now he is a pretty big variant actually. I might do a video on him because he is, like, like I said, a big variant. The whole mouth is different. He just looks incredibly different. I don't know why, because they're both Thailand. It's not like they made the switch from China to Thailand, no, they both are Thailand. And yet he looks very different. So yeah, I will probably do a video on him. You guys should look it up. Look at my review of Kurt and see how different he looks. Like his mouth is closed, his expression is pretty basic. Number 12, purple accents. Here's the back. So yeah, he looks much more like this. That's his original stock image. Now the mouth is closed too, okay. Here's another one I really like from the case, and that is Kabuto. Obviously, he's been released an absolute boatload over the years, ever since 2012. I think he's received, I think he was released like five, six years in a row, 2012 to 2017. But anywho, then he took a break, and now he's back. First time from Thailand, and I love it. He looks great. He's one of those cars that really works well from Thailand, because it can give it a nice glossy look to himself without jeopardizing and putting the decals at risk because his decals, you know, they just can't be blurry. They're too big and he doesn't really have many. So he looks great. I actually found my first one today at the store. It was at Target and I'm not sure if he's re-included in case G because that was like the main case I found. Otherwise, it was just left over from F. But yeah, I was happy to find it, picked one up because... I love his artwork, he looks so cool, and yeah. This is the same background though as the Case E Cars 2 stuff, so they have not updated it, it appears. Yeah, so this one I haven't seen many of yet. Yeah, this was the first one I found today, so he also is kind of rare. Okay, here we go. Two Robert Jam Jones. I'm glad that they included two of a new car. It's the right direction, it's the right thing to do. It's morally right, it's ethical including two of Jackson Storm is unethical. Don't do it. In all seriousness, though, I'm really happy about this. Although, gosh, I don't know. Mattel just can't win. Like, I have found so many of this guy. I found too many of him. I'm getting a little annoyed because every time I walk into a Walmart, like, he is there. He's just chilling on the pegs. Sometimes there's one. Sometimes there's two. And I've kind of had enough of them now. I even got some off Amazon. Because I didn't know if I'd find any in the store. And you never know what could come out of the case. If it could come out all mangled or whatever. I didn't know there was two of them either. 
But the reason why it's annoying is because I have not found Saludos Amigos Ramon, Joe Don Jackson, Todd Marcus, or Racing Red Sal at all. Like none of those I've found. So would easily trade a couple of these for one of those. But anyway, we'll give Bobbert here his fair share of time. New for 2021. He's got his little guitar there, electric guitar, hooked up to the sound box or the boom box. Would have been cool if they included the, the chord, but <laughs> I doubted that. Can't wait to review this guy, though, that's for sure. He is one of my favorites from the year. And here is his card back. Kind of a weird looking card back. Like, those are the releases you show? Really? Those are all like case A basics. Hmm. Both are on mint cards, so that is very, very happy. Makes me happy. And now we're on the bottom row. What do we got going on? Who are we gonna go for first? <laughs> I'm sorry guys, I have to do it to you. I have to do it to you. We're gonna take out Lightning McQueen with Cone. Nice, another mint card. We've been struggling lately in these cases. Like that one had the gluing issue. This one's pretty good though. I love the artwork on McQueen with Cone and he hasn't been released all that much. I think like 2010, 2013, and then in a box, one of those boxes. Either way, it's his first release from Thailand, so that's nice. He's got Case E stuff along with, he's just got another weird card back, kind of. Todd Marcus is now up here, that's nice. You got the Easter Buggy from Case D, you got Andrea from Case E, a little mixed bag. Very nice though. I have seen quite a few of him on the pegs though. All right, we're gonna go to Todd Marks now. I need this one to be on mint card, please. Okay, yes, it is. This is one of my favorites from the case, believe it or not. I just love the artwork for this guy and it just feels so right for Mattel to release him because he was canceled as a single in 2017. So he never really got his fair share. Like he you know, wasn't given justice and now he has been given his justice. He's been given what he's been due and that is a single release in the modern era. Although it is from Thailand and he looks a little different. Still think he looks solid though. Decals don't look too bad. He rolls around a little bit in there. Wow, that's a lot of give. Wow, that is a lot of give. Yeah, this is the first one I've seen in person. Same card back as the last one. Glad Mattel got that right. They could have easily put a Cars 3 back on here because Todd Marcus did appear in both. Just, you know, it depends on the paint job. So I'm happy about that, that they got this right. Although I feel like half the time they only get it right just based on like luck. It's like a 50-50 chance. Like, uh, Cars 1, Cars 3, I don't know. Cars 2, we'll just go with Cars 2. That's what they did with Josh Coolen. Basically, they're like, Cars 1, Cars 2, oh, Cars 3. All right, well, who are these? Oh, wow. Two Saludos Amigos Ramones. You know, I was not expecting that at all. You'd think that because there are two of them, I would have found one. I've literally encountered Case G probably about seven times at different stores, and I've never found one of these before. And yet I found multiple of Jam Jones, you know, multiple Brian Sparks. Those are the other two that multiples are included in the case. You'd think that I would have found one of these as well, but no. Very strange to me. That's kind of interesting. I really want to do a study on like cars collector buying habits because, you know, being an economics major at my university, it's something that interests me. Like, how does that happen? You have two new releases. You know, you have Robert Jam Jones and Saludos Amigos Ramon. So the consumer is choosing. They're like, the consumer obviously values this more. Now, why is that? Let's think about that. Well, maybe because this is like a more iconic release. First of all, it's a you know main character, Radiator Springs Towny, highly anticipated release. You know, Mattel built this up a lot, and Disney did. First, you know, he's end credits, like or like he's in the epilogue basically of the movie. He's in the Meet the Cars book, gets released as a mini racer, and now he's finally here. So a lot of people have been wanting him. He appeals to wider audiences, you know, because of the fact he's got like these, you know, Mexican decals on here, Rally Mexico, as you can see there. So really cool, I guess, I get it. I mean, I thought this would be popular being a band pity. 
like Uncle Topolino's band, basically, but in singles instead of being in that two pack. I don't know. I want to study that. Like, how have I not found one of these? Oh, well, you guys probably don't give a heck about that. So we will just move on. He looks great. I literally cannot wait to review him. So that will be coming soon. Here's the card back. We've seen that before. This one's a little bent up. I was able to get one of these off Amazon as well. This one's on mint card. So that makes me happy. Here we have Mephas Fong, the highly, highly, highly anticipated next gen Rev and Go. Although unfortunately it appears that the hype is worn off. Every target I go into has one of these. I found a ton. He's not peg warming yet because there's only like one or two at each store. Peg warming is like four plus three maybe. So I've only found like today I found two at Target because I know he's also included again in case G. So that's a little problematic. Hopefully he doesn't become like, you know, JD and HJ because that's just no fun. Such a great character to finally be released. You don't want to see him peg warming. That's just a no go. But yeah. He looks awesome. Another one that I will be reviewing very, very soon. You guys have been clamoring for that. New for 2021. Same card back. They just are pounding it with this one. Why don't you put like the Slus Amigos Ramon, Jam Jones, Mafas Fong on the card back? Why, why are they doing this to us? All right. And last but most certainly not least is Joe Don Jackson, one of the retro racers. This guy looks awesome. Kind of like Louise Nash, although I do believe he's a new model. Mattel is really pounding this retro racer vibe this year. You know, obviously releasing what? Six or seven? We've got Floyd Morgan, Caleb Worley, Ducky Fauntleroy, Jodon Jackson, Clovis Ryder, Dewey Cone, and Jimmy Lugranch. Seven. Wow. I don't know. They are taking advantage of it. And they have been popular so far. They have been popular. And this one is no exception, like I said. Haven't found one of these guys in the stores yet. I don't really like his eyes, but his decals look cool. Potatoes, garage, and gas. Artwork is really nice. And oh, wow. We've reverted back to Case E card backs. What's the rhyme or reason? Correct answer is Mattel doesn't have one. They are unpredictable, as I've talked about before. They are sporadic. Never know what they're going to do. But yeah, guys, thank you so much for watching this video. Let me know in the comment section below who is your favorite from this case and why. I want to know why this time. You guys always just tell me who is your favorite. Never tell me why. I want to know why today. My favorite? It's got to be Racing Red Sally just because of the fact that, you know, she looks so perfect in that metallic coat of paint. And I've kind of already had interactions with all these guys before. She's the only one that I actually haven't gotten before. I, I've gotten like all these, and except for time artists. These two I've never had in person before, before this moment. Everyone else I've either gotten from like a Facebook friend. Like I got these two from somebody on Facebook. Found the rest of them in stores. These were the first two I've seen for the first time in person today. So I don't know, it's cool. Those are my favorites. And while this is probably one of my longest case unboxings ever, I guess that's fitting because it is like the best case in a long, long time. So let me know your favorite. Let me know why. I'll see you guys tomorrow for another review. Thank you so much for watching. Bye now.